too much? <laughs> okay, I know it was too much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This mask is like actually scary. I get it, I'm sorry. It was my Halloween mask. Let me know if you guys like it. But anyway, oh, oh. But yes, everybody comment down below what you were for Halloween last year. I just wore a purge mask, I was a purger. And today we back at it with the True Story Scary Animations part 10. At least I think it's part 10. If not, then you know, just let me know in the comments down below. If you guys haven't already, please click that subscribe button, drop a like on the video, and add me on Instagram and Twitter at DangMassSmith. You can DM me, but we're gonna check some of these out. You guys already know the drill. Let's get our blankets. Try not to watch this at night and let's go ahead and get into it. Wait, 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 I forgot. We need King Boo, okay? King Boo's gonna keep us safe. Okay, now, I think we're ready. Here we go. First one, let's do it. <gasps> Creepy guy tried to, what? This story is totally true. It happened to me when I was about four years old. My dad used to really like going on vacation with me and my family. Does your dad also really like that mustache? Man, you need to cut that thing off, man. You bet it. That Addy. That thing looks like two caterpillars. Come on now. You're better than this. One time, we went to what I think was Big Bear. Oh. But I'm not sure. Anyways, we rented a cabin. I don't remember much, but I remember the inside of the cabin was beautiful. Oh. The furniture was all colorful and decorated in Christmas colors. But it was around Christmas time. It was very roomy. And it was two floors and had its own den kitchen and bedroom we arrived during the day and everything seemed normal when night came however we started hearing noises it sounded like someone was shaking the front door knob trying to get in oh heck no i was the first to notice and i told my mom but she didn't believe me then she saw it too for a couple of minutes the front door knob just kept shaking by itself oh and we were too afraid to go look out the door. So scared. Then we heard another noise. No! It sounded like steel hitting steel. Then it stopped. My dad was afraid someone was trying to break in. Wait, what? Dad, you're supposed to protect the family, man. Jeez, get a weapon, get a bat, get a skillet or something. Jeez. You're supposed to be the brave one, especially with a mustache like that. Man, that mustache would scare anybody off. But then again, I can't blame the dad because he's doing exactly what I would do. Pack up and leave. So we packed up all of our things so we can leave. Mm-hmm. But before we did, my dad called the police and asked them to come search the premises. Seriously. We exited out the back door because the noises were coming from the front. Yeah. Our car was down the hill from the back of the cabin. I fell asleep in the car and woke up the next morning in a small rinky dink motel room that was nothing as roomy and beautiful as the cabin. Mm -mm. I was so bummed but I was quickly relieved we had left because later that day we found out who was making those noises. What? The police had arrived there and searched the outside and found nothing. Then they went inside and found a man that had two hooks instead of hands. It's Wolverine! He had been twisting the door knob with his hook. Oh! Then he clashed his hooks together and that's what we heard was it still on steel. Are you serious? We found out that about five minutes after we left the cabin, he successfully broke in and started searching for us. Oh! The police found bodies stashed in the upstairs closet. Oh my god. When we were on our way home from the motel, we stopped what? at a gas station near the cabin where the madman had tried to break in. Oh my god. My mom knew it was a bad idea, but my dad told her to relax. The cops took care of that guy. No. He's nowhere near us. We all went into the little shop to buy some candy and snacks. We were quite surprised when we came out of the shop and headed back to our car. No. There was a note on the hood that read, there's more of us, see you soon. No! It's safe to say that we never went back to that cabin again. Oh my gosh, are you serious? What? There's more of us, see you soon? Oh bro, you gotta move to a different country, jeez. Gotta move to a different continent, gosh dang. This is why I don't go camping. They didn't even investigate. That's probably why they survived, so good for you guys, cause that's what I would've done. Pack up and you hightail it up on out of there. Hey, hashtag no investigating. Whoo, that was creepy, jeez. Guys, let me know how much that scared you on the old dang scary scale. On a scale of one to poo poo your pants. Okay, but let's move on to the next one. Here we go. I was on summer break and went camping with my friend and his parents. Everybody's going we camping. We went to the lake during the day. 
and did the s'mores thing mm. at night. Oh, that's good. His parents shared a tent while my friend and I had our own. Mm. I can't remember where the campsite was, and I'm not really in contact with my friend anymore. But 15 years later, I'm assuming it wasn't the safest place to camp. Jeez. Here's why. I woke up sometime in the early morning, like 3 or 4 a.m., and immediately saw <gasps> oh! a man's face looking in the tent what? at us. Oh my he had unzipped the door just enough to stick his head inside. Oh my gosh. He looked absolutely insane. Oh. He had big eyes and wild hair. Oh. I was so stiff from fear. I literally couldn't do anything. Run! The man kept moving his head from left to right, Ugh. very, very slowly, so scary. as if it was uncontrollable. I guess my friend could hear me breathing loudly or something, because he woke up too. He had the same reaction as me, and just laid there in terror, Heck looking no. at this mysterious man. I'm not certain how long he was sitting there looking at us, but it felt like hours shaking his head back and forth. Oh. At some point, we heard a noise oh. close by, and so did the man. Dang. He disappeared quick, and a couple minutes later, we got out of our tent and woke up his parents. The oh. guy was long gone. <gasps> I'm still afraid of camping to this day. Jeez, man, see, guys, do not go camping. I'm sorry, just don't do it. Camp in the living room, okay? Camp in the kitchen, camp in the bathroom. Just don't go camping out in the woods. It's not worth it. You guys got lucky that that deer happened to be walking by. That deer saved your life. Bam, B done saved your life. And time out, why does the dad have the same mustache as the other dad in the last video? Dang, what is going on? Is that the new style, having two mustaches, one on each side? of your nose come on now just one little part in the middle of the mustache that ain't style that's stupid no no i'm just, I'm just kidding i'm just kidding it's fine it's fine no judging no judging Woo! but heck no man guys i'm sleeping in my own bed in my own place yeah who guys let me know how you felt about that last one on the dang scary scale scale of one to poop your pants okay we got one more let's go ahead and check this out here we go someone tried to break into that why is everybody breaking into everybody's house I am a 16 year old girl. Years ago in the summer, I left my place in the city to visit my aunt and uncle's house in the suburbs of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. I mainly went to hang out with my cousin. Let's call her Kate. My cousin and I are three years apart. My aunt and uncle both worked in Manhattan. One day, my aunt and uncle decided to attend a party after work. During the day, Kate and I went down to the street to her friend's house because they had a pool. We spent all day swimming. When we walked back to her house, it was around 4 p.m. It was still sunny out. All of a sudden, Kate's phone stopped working. What are y'all pink Nothing hair? Nothing to worry about. I still had mine and it was brand new. We spent another hour outside and figured it was time to call my aunt to tell her we were okay. Mm -hmm. On the step, I pulled my phone out, but it was not working. Oh. We took the battery out, put it back in, but still nothing. Go to the Apple store. With no way to call my aunt, we just went inside the house. It was maybe 5 p.m. Oh, that's a creepy clock. Her sister, Julie, a high schooler, was spending the night at her friend's house, so we were all alone. In the living room, we put the two sofas together as we normally did when I slept over. We were both tired and ready to sleep. Mm -hmm. We had been left alone like this a lot of times, so it didn't phase <gasps> us. What's that? The house is big and gets pitch black. Oh, that clock. All of a sudden, we heard a big bang that sounded like brass or metal coming from across the hall. What? We got up and checked Kate's room. Nothing had fallen. We went back to the living room to sleep. Maybe two hours later, we heard another bang coming from the room. Oh, God. We checked again. Nothing had fallen. What? This time, we were a little unnerved. We went back but stayed up then shortly heard a bang a third time coming from the same room. Get out the house! We were nervous. We went on opposite sides of the hallway and walked in the room this time like a little SWAT team. Everything was intact. We couldn't sleep after. We stayed up on the sofas and saw a shadow coming from the basement. Oh my god. The basement had no door. It was just open. No one was home yet. 
We called out for Kate's parents, and if they were home, they would have said something. Mm -mm. Their driveway was empty. Their car wasn't there. <gasps> we were terrified. Gosh. Kate and I grabbed knives, and we just stayed down on the kitchen floor. Nothing happened. After another hour, we went back to the sofas. Mm -mm. We woke up to the sound of a girl screaming, help me! What? We sprang up and heard someone banging on the door, but we were too petrified because we saw another shadow next to the shadow from earlier. Oh. Terrified, we just made sure the door was locked and went back to the sofa. After 30 minutes, we were woken up again, but this time to a police car and ambulance lights coming through from the living room windows. Oh. We were exhausted and went back to sleep. Sometime what? during the early morning, Kate's parents came home. We were sleeping and heard a huge bang coming from Kate's room. Again? This time, my uncle came up from the basement, which is where my aunt and uncle's room was. He was holding one of his metal bats. He was ready to protect us. Mm -hmm. With my uncle in front of us, we all went into the room. Nothing was on the ground and nothing had fallen. We knew we weren't crazy because even Kate's parents heard it. We never could explain what happened that night. The next morning, both Kate and my phone started working. After that day, I hated going to their house. Mm -hmm. I believe their house is haunted. Either that or someone was trying to come inside because they knew their car wasn't in the driveway and they thought they could break <gasps> in. I'm sorry, but how do you say heck to the no in Spanish? Diablos a ninguno. Why is everybody's friend's house is haunted? Dang, y'all, you guys need some new friends. If I stay at a friend's house and we hear some weird noises, I ain't never going back. Woo, that was creepy. Guys, please let me know which of the three stories was the scariest. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and drop a like. And please add me on Instagram and Twitter at DangMattSmith and DM me. Don't forget to get some of the Dang Matt Smith, the family-friendly merch. Yeah, I got the link in the description below. Woo, but yeah, guys, please make smart choices. Don't do anything silly, okay? No investigating. Be safe out there. Because I care about you guys, all right? I want y'all to be safe but yeah really hope you guys enjoyed the video and remember no camping okay and you know if anything goes bad just blame jamal but yeah that's it i'm gonna get up on out of here again be safe and i'm see you next time peace